Get busy, get equal! You know, that is the slogan of our national LGBT project, Get Busy, Get Equal, and it makes so much sense because the only way we're going to achieve equality is by getting busy. Now, let's face folks, the founders of our country did not intend for a minority to have their rights held at the hands of the majority. It's simply un-American, and yet we've seen that time and time again where the LGBT community must accept these ballot measures. We won't accept it here in Pennsylvania. Now, why do they want these ballot measures? Why is that their tactic? Well, the reason is fairly simple. As the pastor alluded to, they can use scare tactics, they can use fear-mongering, and they can just straight out lie to the public. They can't get away with that in court. They don't like going to court because they know they lose in court. They only get away with some of that at the legislative le level, and yet we saw it in Maine, we saw it in California. They are using fear-mongering uh, fear and scare tactics. Now, I don't want to get too wonkish on you here, but I do want to let you know about a couple of things that are happening uh, at the state capitol. You're probably quite aware of what's happening in Congress with ENDA, Don't Ask, Don't Tell. There are a number of things happening at the state capitol in Harrisburg you should be aware of as well. House Bill 300, which would amend Pennsylvania's civil rights law to include sexual orientation and gender identity or expression, that is under consideration in the state house. And I have to tell you, I cannot guarantee that we're going to get that bill to the governor, but I can tell you this, we won't get it there if we don't have constituents contacting your state reps and telling them we want equality, we want to be sure that people are protected from being fired from their jobs simply because they're LGB or T. So you can sign letters over at the table to your state rep on that. There's also Senate Bill 935, which brings marriage equality to Pennsylvania. There are, uh, there's a, going to be, in the future, near future, uh, bills with other forms of relationship recognition. We expect a bill to protect kids who are being bullied in school. And of course, we always have the dark cloud over our head that an amendment to the state constitution will be introduced. A, a senator from Altoona has already announced his plan to introduce that amendment, and we have to fight back. We have to tell our state senate that we will not accept that the LGBT community will become second-class citizens here in Pennsylvania. Now, I've been noticing over the last 10 months that it seems that some folks, not only in this community, but also in the progressive community in general, think that all they had to do was vote last November. Well, folks, I think we've learned in the last 10 months voting just wasn't enough. Our elected officials, whether it's President Obama or it's your congressmen, your senators, Governor Rendell, all the way down to the state capitol, they have to be pushed. We have to do the pushing to make them do what they need to do to ensure equality for the LGBT community. I just want to close by saying this. We know that time is on our side, right? We've seen the polling. We know that young people support the LGBT community, but we have to keep pushing. We have to make the history happen. We can't sit back and wait for it to happen. We have to make it happen, and we can do that by working together. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Andy.